Right, so we're on the last video lesson dito sa ating 1.8. Last na rin dito sa ating 1.0 under threats, attacks, and vulnerability. So with this one, pag-usapan natin yung mga exercise types or teams na terminologies na may kinalaman sa penetration testing. So yung una is what we called the red team or red teaming. So kapag sinabi natin na red team, this is basically the ethical hacker or tayo yung nagtetest mismo in order to see the vulnerabilities or exploit the systems, infrastructure, or security as a whole ng isang organization. So, kumbaga, tayo yung nasa offense or offense. We're on the team offense and we are the one exploiting vulnerabilities and gaining access and attacking the systems and devices and network and infrastructure ng given organization when doing the penetration testing activities. So, red team tayo. Kumbaga, we are simulating the attacker in this activity. Does that make sense? Now, Contrary to red team, we also have what we call the blue team or blue teaming. Now, this one naman is on the defense side. Meaning, uh, kapag ka blue team, we are the one protecting the data or the infrastructure, yung network natin. Kasi pwede rin, we're, we're doing the penetration testing activities, we're having the red team and then we're having the blue team. So, hand in hand, they are working together. For example, si red team are doing the exploitation and attack on the system and then si blue team are doing the defense para nang sa ganun, nakita talaga natin kung ano pa yung mga loopholes, ano pa yung mga dapat nating isecure when it comes to our infrastructure or, or, or our organizations. Okay? So, uh, in blue team, um, yun nga, so we are defending against the real attackers and the red teams, for example, in a penetration testing activities. So, when it comes to uh, blue team, dito pumapasok sila incident responder or incident respond manager, digital forensics, and so on. So, malware analysis part of the blue team. Okay? Now, um, uh, aside from red and blue, we also have what we call purple team. Now, si purple team naman is basically exists to ensure and maximize the effectiveness of the red and blue team. So, uh, kumbaga, ano to eh, uh, red and blue team working together just for improving the process or the activity itself. So, kumbaga, wala tong side. Okay? So, hindi siya, wala siya dun sa attack side, wala rin siya dun sa defense side. Kumbaga, nasa gitna siya. Does that make sense? Good. Now, last but not the least, we also have what we called the white team, which is the responsible for overseeing the uh, engagement or the activity or the competition. So basically, yung mga white team natin, dito pumapasok yung mga judge or referee in a sense in terms of our penetration testing activities. So ang nangyayari is yung mga white team natin, sila yung nagmamanage ng uh, post-event assessment. Okay? So itong mga exercise teams na ito, itong mga uh, exercise types or teaming na ito when it comes to penetration testing, Importante to, okay? So, pwedeng um, ma-call out ito sa exam and then sa interview and then make sure alam mo yung pagkakaiba nila, alam mo yung, uh, for example, mga pwede nilang gawin. Like, for example, sa, sa, sa red team, di ba? We have uh, the, uh, tawag doon, at the attacker and then the blue team is, uh, for example, yung depending the data or the organization. So, make sure you know, again, the key characteristics of each concept, of each terminologies nang sa ganun, uh, hindi mo siya malimutan. Okay? Both for the exam, both for the interview, and then in the real world. And then isa pa, when you go out there as a security professional, as a, as a cyber security, for example, nag apply ka, you can be in any of those teams. So, pag tinanong ka, saan mo gusto? Blue team or red team? So, dapat, by hearing that term, alam mo yung pagkakaiba nila. Baka mamaya, ang, ang, ang uh, tawag dito, ang, ang gusto mo palang sabihin is doon ka sa de defense team, pero uh, dahil hindi mo sila naiintindihan, sabi mo sa red team ka. So, Di ba? May mga ganun na pangyayari, lalo na sa interview. So make sure, again, know the characteristics of each term and concepts para nang sa ganun, safe tayo. Okay? So again, this is the last lesson in our 1.8. And we're done with this section. This is also the last lesson here in our 1.0. So in the next coming videos, we're gonna move on to 2.0 or chapter 2 kung saan pag-uusapan natin more on architecture and design. So, yung mga implementation or security implementation when it comes to architecture and design. I'll see you there.